Oh, Ollie. May I roar with the soul force of a cosmic colossal lion, yeah, that my guru Omar prophesized, uh, if I sweep up the whip, well, I'll grow into it. No fear anybody in the jungle, huh? Look, Ollie, I'm riding high in good karma right now. Mm, delivered the corpse. Yeah, I mean, imagine that. Uh, it's the opportune moment in my spiritual life for a breakthrough right now. And uh, I'm feeling the thrill. <laughs> Flowing one with my divine uh, spiritual destiny. And I got dipped up by my angel inside. The, uh, yeah, um, correct spiritual alignment. Uh, it's not about morality. That changes for whoever's in power. It's alignment that's key. You get aligned with everybody, then you can relax because you are everybody. Oh, yeah, you're a subject, but there's no objects anymore. Absolute subjectivity. You are. It's just. <laughs> That's why it's no morality. You're not like turning the other cheek or, you know, doing to others. They're all you. So if you don't want to fuck yourself up, you don't fuck up anybody else. It's not morality. It's alignment. Get a life. Well, peace out, huh? <laughs> Spellbound by the divine uh, intensity. I mean, he is close to enlightenment. Sweep up his shit a little bit and he'll be there. Uh, yeah, a crucial crossroads. Uh, yeah, decisively uh, 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 relieved. I mean, Sphinx is becoming unburdened from that perplexing dust <laughs> cloud that obscured everything in the amber chill of St. Torm, Septorium, seventh level down in the caves of Cappadocia. Macabre relics, oh, dispatched and arms chopped off, and oh, it just all evaporates. Just no, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. I'll let you know. Sphinx, chill. Of course, you may sweep well in my peace hotel. No. Yeah. And um, imagine. All right, look. Remember when Sphinx drove his Rolls Royce onto the car ferry in Istanbul to head for Cappadocia? Remember way back then? That was just a week ago. You see what he's going through, huh? And quick. Well, the, the wise and uh, uh, peace, Ollie. He, he welcomes Sphinx warmly. He, he totally understands his karmic quest to li live as a humble room sweeper so he can get down with the common people of the planet and, like, in his backyard in Kandahar. Everybody. And you know, he assures the Grand Master of the Shaman of the Brotherhood of LSD underground chemist scene in California. Hello, um... He's not going to expose to anybody his underground room sweeper quest. Uh, and all these smells. He looks at Sphinx. You know, Sphinx, with you, you're Egyptian, huh? Yeah, you're Egyptian complexion. We're going we're gonna to go to the bazaar together, go shopping, get rid of those Chinese caftans. They look ridiculous around here. We're going to put some baton clothes on you. We're talking baggy pantalons, huh? You, nobody will know. He'll be totally incognito. They embrace. As brothers. Salam alaikum. Sphinx agrees. Oh, heartily to everything. Alaikum salam, yeah. Okay, now, okay, for the a news update from the world of Peace Ali, uh, well, it explains to Sphinx that the uh, queen of Chitral, 
Uh, yeah, she's holed up uh, 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 upstairs through the mud arch down the hallway, last room on the right, facing the mud street. Uh, and she had this uh, crazy idea to, she was going to hitchhike to London to get her teeth repaired on the English National something or other benefit. At, but my cousin, Bay, huh? He fixed her up. There was an Islamic missionary in Herat with a primitive dental clinic, so she's all fixed up, got a gold tooth in the front with Islamic moon uh, in, uh, impressed within it. And uh, so uh, she'll be coming back this way. She's going back to her uh, King Sharif, and uh, she's, uh, she's safeguarded with me. $700, uh, th two bandoliers of uh, Lee, Lee, Lee Enfield copper case bullets. Her rifle, so when she gets, uh, she comes through here, she grabs her stuff, she can buy the mule uh, of a camel driver's dream. Mules are less grumpy, huh? And uh, yeah, make it back up the back way. We only do back ways around here. Uh, to the summer palace. Yeah, in Mastouche. And, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, Sphinx, huh? Oh, 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 the queen. <laughs> My queen? Oh, well, in his dreams. Uh, oh, so if I just, like, uh, abide calmly as a common room sweeper, there's no way I can miss her uh, on her way back. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, he's profoundly comforted that Quinn Latif is in his neighbor. I mean, it's only one long distance bus away. Good thing it's a bus because it's not one mile train track in the whole of Afghanistan. It's a landlocked country. It's not like India where these went berserk and made the world's biggest rail system. Just to keep those Hindus subjugated, huh? And then like Mahatma Gandhi freed the country, huh? They went by their, their goddamn British soul anymore, weaved their own clothes, Kadi. And then what? Oops, I had to split up, split up that whole western part of India, call it Pakistan. Don't even get involved in this stuff, okay? Go back to the hookah. Enjoy your life. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs>